So this lesson is going to be on atomic mass. So what are atomic masses? You see, the masses of individual atoms are very small. The mass of a um, carbon-12 atom is about 1.998 times 10 to the power of negative 26 kilograms. Now that is a extremely, extremely small number and you don't want to be dealing with uh, the exponents all the time. So that's why chemists develop um, a unit called the atomic mass unit. So the atomic mass unit, it is defined as exactly a twelfth the mass of a carbon-12 atom. The symbol that you usually see be either U or DA, um, called Dalton. Now, for example, the atomic mass of a carbon-12 is 12U, exactly 12U or 12 Dalton. Doesn't matter, uh, they are the same thing. So this is a reference, uh, how do you use that in practice, comparing with other elements. For example, you have um, the atomic mass of a sodium-23 is about 22.9898 uh, U or Dalton. Hydrogen-1 uh, is 1.0783 U or Dalton. Hydrogen-2 uh, has an extra neutron, so the wave will be probably doubled, uh, so that'll be about That'll be 2.014 U. So that's how um, atomic masses are used to describe the the weight um, of the atoms. So the table being shown on the left here is the nucleic masses of each of the common isotopes of um, the um, common elements. If you look at um, the carbons on the left, um, you see the carbon-12 weighs exactly um, 12 you are 12 Dalton because that's, that's just how atomic mass was defined in the first place and that is uh, each U is a 12th uh, of um, the mass of carbon therefore will be 12 times that which is 12 U. Now if you look at your periodic table then um, below the um, symbol for each element you usually find a small number with, with a few decimal points and that is your average mass or average atomic mass so let's, let's write a number down so you have your carbon um, has an average mass of 12.01 Dalton now how do you get a number that 12.01 number here is not carbon 12 is not carbon 13 now how this is calculated you know, the, the symbol for this is a subscript a little r um, with the element in bracket. How does calculate is that you multiply the um, percentage of the natural abundance of uh, that specific isotope, so in this case carbon-12, you multiply by the nucleic mass of a, of a carbon-12 which is 12 Dalton, that plus the percentage for the natural abundance of the second isotopes uh, multiplied by the nucleic mass of the second isotope. Now if you have more, you're just going to keep going. Now sometimes um, you don't need to, specifically for carbon, for example, you don't need to go any further than this, and the reason is because that all the isotopes are so rare that you will really never encounter them. The percentage of the natural abundance of carbon-12 is, is 98. 0.90% so that's multiplied by 12 uh, plus natural abundance of uh, carbon-13 is 0.10% multiplied by nucleic mass and now that is equal to roughly 12.011 Dalton and that is what this number here is about